Oh, hey guys, I did not see you there. Welcome to our new apartment. Uh, welcome back to Game Tech as well. So today I want to kind of go over everything that's in our new apartment. Um, some, new, some things new, some things old, but I thought it'd be the perfect time to walk you through all the gadgets and gadgets that we live with on an everyday basis. Hopefully give you some ideas or what you can add to your apartment setup as well, all right? So stick with us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like, leave comments if you're thinking about picking something up. Pretty much everything we're gonna walk through today will be linked down in the description. So if you wanna pick something up yourself, that'll be right there for you as well. Also, new PK Fresh gear is in. Make sure you check that out. Shout out to Courtney. I'm loving this shirt. Holiday time, can't go wrong, all right? So let's get right into it. And let's start off with a little bit of retro tech here. We have our record player and our records um, set up on the Ikea bookshelf with the Sony system. Everything just sounds perfectly. We have records, everything from the Black Keys to Kanye West to Kendrick Lamar to Michael Jackson. We got everything you can want to need uh, when it comes to records and when you want to get your retro tech on. So love the setup. This is all Juan's doing. Shout out to him, um, the antique setup. He got this from an antique sale. Um, and of course, we have our lovely little Christmas tree here as well. So happy holidays to everybody. All right, moving on. So one of the first things you notice when you walk into our house is our big, beautiful IKEA lamp. Now this lamp right here, I got from IKEA a few years ago, but it's been a mainstay in our apartment for the last three years. And I absolutely love it. Um, it's, it's an overhanging lamp, so it stays out of the way. Um, the mount is all the way over there for it. So it's just a lovely, lamp to have in the living room and I love it all right so we're going to move on now this piece of tech right here is actually not always down here this is actually my roommate Juan's this is a Dyson hot and cool fan now this fan is special because obviously it does hot and cool but it also is a bladeless design so there's no blades which allows it to circulate air really well you can make it go in a straight pattern you can make it Honestly, out it does so many just different cool things, um, and it should for a four hundred dollar fan, you know. But <laughs> this is his. Um, I like it. It's a good piece of tech to have around the house. So, good job, Juan. Next up, moving on to the meat and potatoes of the living room, the entertainment section where everyone comes around the TV to watch games, movies, everything. Um, starting off, we have our four K TCL. Ultra HD, HDR, Roku TV. And this TV is a great TV to start off with if you're looking to get into the 4K realm. I think this TV runs for around like $275, $300. So it's a really good deal for the money. And of course, with having that Roku set up on here, you have everything from Netflix, Hulu, um, MLB.TV, everything you can want or need is on this TV. Disney Plus, leave, leave a like if you're watching The Mandalorian, really good show. Uh, but we have everything you can want on here. And also for my Apple fanboys out there, we do have the Apple TV. Now I really like the Apple TV. Um, honestly, we probably use this more than the Roku for a couple reasons. Um, just the interface is a lot better than any interface you can get on any other smart home device. I love it. Um, this one also has every app you can want or need. Spotify, Prime Video, Netflix, everything's on here. Um, and of course, if you haven't checked it out yet, I would definitely recommend checking out Apple Arcade. This is a really good service. We'll go more into detail of this in a later video, hopefully. If you want to see that, leave a comment, all right? Moving on though, with the setup, we also have the Samsung um, smart speaker here. So we have the Samsung uh, soundbar with the Wi-Fi, oh, the wireless Bluetooth subwoofer as well so this adds so much definition to the sound of the movies and things that you're watching you can't have a 4k tv with crappy sound people don't do it to yourself make sure you get your sound bar has amazing sound okay now moving on down to the bottom playstation 4 we all seen that i love the game we have it but moving on the retro tech down here the Nintendo 64 some old classic games back here too what do we have uh Banzu Kazuzi. I, I never played that one, but we have it. All right, so <laughs> Nintendo 64 games, old school movies, more games. We also have a projector down here that we hardly ever use, but it's here as well. Now, 
This is where all the smart home tech in this house comes together. This is our Google Fiber wireless router. Uh, we have a gigabit internet service through Google Fiber, so that works perfectly, allows us to stream all our movies, allows us to have all our smart home devices work perfectly. And then also down here, I have my Samsung Smart Things Hub, and that is for my smart lights. It works with the Nest thermostat that I have. It just controls all that stuff seamlessly. So it allows you to just keep everything going on the go. All right. So that is the living room. And next up, we're going to move on to the kitchen. But before we get to the kitchen, let's talk about, I'll talk about my baby here. This is the Nest thermostat. This controls obviously the heat and air in the house. Um, I love this for two very specific reasons. For one, it saves you money, which is the most important thing it does. Secondly, it's convenient. Tech should always be convenient. This allows me to change the heat, the air, whatever, from when I'm on the go, if I'm headed home and the temperature drops, I can turn the heat up before I get home and I come home to a nice, cozy house, all right? So that's that. And then moving on to the kitchen, which is probably the most important place in the house because you know you got to eat well if you don't eat well you don't live well so we're going to start off with some of the tech that we have inside the kitchen as well okay so first up we're going to start with the thermometer um if you don't have a thermometer in your kitchen get one it'll save you so much trouble when you're cooking meats cooking steak cooking burgers whatever you're cooking um a good thermometer will make sure you get your food cooked to the perfect temperature and make sure you're not eating anything that's undercooked or overcooked as well of course, you have the air fryer. Can't live without air fryer. You want to hit your fries, you know, make um, <laughs> some chicken nuggets, whatever you want to make. An air fryer comes in definite handy and it's better than using a microwave and it's less costly than firing up your entire oven every time you want to, you know, make some fries or something like that. And it's healthier too. That's another thing, it's healthy as well. Then, this is another one of Juan's crazy, wacky um, gadgets here. This is a sous vide. Now, from what I know, this the main purpose of this and what I, we've been using it for is to make sure that we cook our steaks to the perfect temperature. So we'll put our steaks in the bag with all our spices and stuff like that. And this will heat up some water and boil that steak to the perfect temperature. And then you can finish it off in your cast iron or whatever else you cook your steaks in. But uh, it also does chilling too. So if you want to chill some wine, it does that as well, all right? Man, everybody's favorite gift this holiday season, the Instant Pot. It does everything from making cakes to making rice to making, I think we made some, made a pot roast the other day. Good shout out to Juan, it was really good. Um, so loving the Instant Pot. The mixer here, I've never used one of these, but we have it. Um, but yeah, I know this is for making like dough, baking, things like that. Definitely having a good mixer comes in handy. And these two things are probably my favorite things that we have in the kitchen, honestly. These are electric grinders. So you wanna grind some fresh pepper, grind some salt. This does that for you, all right? And these are Wolfgang Pump as well. So very, very fancy. All right, so that's pretty much it for the downstairs. We'll cut and then we'll move up to the upstairs and show you what's in the bedroom. All right, everybody, welcome to my bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. Actually, no magic happens here. But anyways, the first thing we want to talk about in the bedroom is my IKEA bed frame here. And I like this thing for two reasons. For one, it's really low. I like a low bed frame. I don't want anything that's super, super high. There's no need for a box frame with this one either because it has the slats that flex on it. So, great bed. But also, it also has storage at the bottom. So, I can store all of my junk um, that I probably need to get rid of down there as well. So, love the Ikea bed frame. This is also an Ikea mattress, so everything Ikea. Moving on, we'll start off with the entertainment of the bedroom. We have my Samsung, I believe this is a 39, 38 inch, whatever TV. Um, I have it on a mount. I'll link the mount down in the description as well. This is about a $20 mount I got from Amazon a few years back. It works perfectly. I've taken it down, put it back up numerous times. So great mount, very sturdy, works really well. But everything that is being controlled, everything that comes with, comes onto the TV is being controlled by my Amazon Fire TV 4K. This obviously is in a 4K TV, 
but still great to have that for future proofing. And then also my Amazon Echo Dot. Now I love this setup right here for two reasons. One of the first things I do when I come home is say, Alexa, play Seinfeld from Hulu. Getting Seinfeld from Hulu. And she does that for me. She fires up. And next thing I know, I am watching Seinfeld from Hulu. Eventually, once it decides to load up here. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. What is? There we go. Seinfeld from Hulu. Alexa, what do you have? pause. But yeah, so she does a lot of great stuff there for me. I also have my candle warmer here. I'm trying out this new scent from Target, Pine Forest. It smells very good in here. You gotta have the lovely scents when the uh, ladies come up to the apartment, you know. Just kidding, care. No ladies are coming come over here, just, just you, okay. All right, anyways, moving on. We have my desk set up over here. So we have the Pavilion. 22 inch HP monitor is an IPS display. Um, it is made by HP, like I said before, but it's, it gets the job done just when I need some extra real estate for spring, when I'm editing videos, things like that. This definitely does a the job. Then of course we have the MacBook Pro there to get all our editing needs done. All right. Then of course you gotta have lighting for the room. Now, like I said before, I do have some smart lights in here. So the Amazon Echo Dot is able to control those. These are the Samsung smart home light bulbs. So they're not too fancy. They're about 10 bucks at Best Buy or Amazon. And they allow you to dim and they also allow you to turn them on and off through your smart home devices as well. So I can say, Alexa, turn the lights off. And the lights go off. So. Love having that feature. Don't have to get out of bed. Don't have to have a clapper, anything like that. Um, I can control all that kind of stuff directly from the Amazon Echo Dot, and it does a very good job. So that's pretty much it for the bedroom. There's not a whole lot up here for tech. I mean, I try to keep it, you know, simple. You're going to come home, you want to relax, and this is my space to do that. So thanks for joining us. Once again, like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button, leave some comments. Also, Check out PK Fresh Clothing. I will leave a link in the description for this, for the website. Get you some nice gear for the holidays, buy your loved one something. Great, great clothing brand. I love it. I have a bunch of it, all right? So once again, this is King Tech. We'll catch you in the next one, all right? Peace out.